Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to take a look at a really cool plugin for our PS Vita. And this is a overclocking plugin for our system. And let me show you here real quick. So if I press down and select, we're going to get this nice little menu to pop up. Or I believe it's up select. There we go. It does take a little bit of time to show up here, but as you can see, we have almost a VSH menu from the PSP on our PS Vita, and this is a great plugin. Uh, that way, you can overclock your system if you want to have better performance. Uh, you can check the percentage of your battery, uh, the temperature, how much time you have left on your battery, and the percentages of the CPU and the GPU, which is great. And I'm going to show you how to install this, but before we do, I just want you guys to be aware that if you do overclock your system, you have the potential of damaging your console. Uh, just because when you overclock your CPU or GPU, it overheats. And you just want to be very careful not to go over, uh, not to always overclock your system, right? Just try to play around, mess with it, see if if it's able to overclock for a certain amount of time, for a period of time on your system while you're playing a certain game. And I highly recommend you guys uh, taking it easy on the overclocking, uh, but it's a great little resource, a great plugin to always have. And not only do we have the main menu here, but we can also change it to different uh, styles. So let me see if I can press this again. Yeah, it is a little bit tricky to uh, get the modes to change just because you're using the D-pad up and down and also the select button. So you almost have to time it perfectly in order to have the uh, menu pop up. And as you can see, we have a smaller uh, interface here on the upper corner. Maybe if you're just doing tests on a certain game, this is perfect. Um, and then we also have another mode where we're just showing the... Uh, frames per second at the very top and in order for you to completely overclock to the max on your Vita you must have your Wi-Fi uh, disabled in order to overclock it up to 444 I think it's uh, megahertz yeah so 444 Hertz is the top that the PS Vita can be able to overclock uh, the CPU was marked to go to 800, but Sony cut it in half and they're like, you know what, let's just save uh, battery life and also avoid any damage to the console and overheating. So the max will go to 444 and it's defaulted to 333 as you can see here and it's working just fine. Uh, I'm running 3.73 with H on core 2 and I have not seen any issues yet so far so it's working great let's begin by going into our Vita shell and we're gonna enable our FTP connection press start and make sure your select button is enabled to the FTP connection now we can press select and we can go to our desktop and connect to a FTP client and I'm gonna be using FileZilla if you don't already have a program like this, I'll leave a link in the description. What's great about this program is I can go to this drop down menu and connect to a device that I already have been connected to in the past, which is nice. Here is my PS Vita, perfect. And now you want to use the first link in the description down below and that will take you to github.com. And here's the version 1.1 release of the PSV shell .skprx and click on this link here perfect let's show in our folder there it is and now depending on the way you have your PS Vita configured you're gonna be dropping it in the URO folder or the UXO folder so for me I'm gonna be going into my URO folder and we're gonna drop this in our tie folder perfect and as you can see, I already have that skprx file here. So all you have to do is just drag that in there, copy it, and you're good to go. Next, we're going to go into our config text, view and edit. And under our kernel section, we want to copy this line here. The uro colon tie backslash psv shell 
www.skprx and I'll have that in the description down below for you so you can copy and paste it. Make sure to hit the control S to save it or go up on the menu and hit file and save. Now we're going to go back on our PS Vita and reset our device and we're good to go here. Let's go back. Let's cancel. Press start and reboot your system. If you're running on 3.73 like I am with H Encore 2, make sure to run H Encore 2 and have your custom firmware enabled. And you basically want to press up and select to begin using the plugin. And this is great. And you can just keep pressing up and select to view the different uh, styles. As you can see, we have the 60 on the upper left hand corner. And I'm going to disable my Wi Fi so we can take a look at that here real quick. And we're at 30 frames network. Let's disable that. There we go. Let's close that out. And we can press it again. And now we have this nice little window that shows us the battery percentage and the percentage of the CPU, the frames per second, which is great. And now I'm going to run a game here real quick. One game that I've seen that is kind of lacking is the Ratchet and Clank game, the first one. I was having so much fun playing the first one. I've never played Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2. I've always played number 3 and me and my brother always had it so it's like we play that game for months on end and this is one of the best games to download and have it installed on your system here so let's go to ratchet and clank and we're gonna take a look here because the frames on this game was pretty bad and i was hoping to have a better experience on the vita being that this console is a, is a beast well not that crazy beast right but uh, at least something let's load up a game here perfect there's my game from yesterday nice and we're running 30 frames right now in order for you to change the speed on each one of these clocks all you have to do is press X and then you use your d-pad left and right to change and by default your CPU is going to be at 333 and the max is going to go is 500, which is crazy. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that uh, for not too long, right? Just mess around, play with it. But like I said, be very careful because you can damage your console. And the next one, your ES ES4, I'm sorry, I was going to say EC4. ES4 is your GPU. And the max it's going to go to is uh, 222 right and you don't want to go lower than what you're seeing here because you're gonna lack in performance pretty badly and you don't want that your bus speed is maxed out to 222 and your C B R or X bar is maxed out to 166 so there's no need for you to mess around with these two yeah these are the speeds here and I'm gonna just go up to 444 and see what we can do here. So we can save the profile and then we can get out of this. And maybe we'll see a difference in our speed here. We'll see. Probably not gonna see too much. I'm still doing the same frames. Nothing too crazy. And that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please sub to the channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one any questions comment down below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible take care guys and i will see you on the next one